The Tory deputy chairman pulled the Labour leader to pieces over his history as a lefty lawyer. Top Tory MP Lee Anderson has taken aim at the leader of the opposition over his stance on the migrant crisis, claiming that Keir Starmer has no moral compass in a brutal takedown. Taking to X, formerly known as Twitter, while sharing a Mail Online article from last year discussing Keir Starmer's history as a lefty lawyer, the MP for Ashfield wrote, No moral compass. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer played a key role in overturning an attempt by Tony Blair 20 years ago to strip asylum seekers of the right to claim benefits. The action was taken by Sir Keir Starmer after the then Labour government tabled the Nationality, Immigration and Asylum Act in 2002. David Blunkett, who was the Home Secretary at the time, was aiming to use the law to clamp down on asylum seekers who were overstaying their visas. Sir Keir, who was a human rights lawyer at the time, challenged the law in the High Court the following year. One crucial part of the law was that it said if claimants didn't apply for asylum as soon as reasonably practicable after arriving in Britain, this would mean that they would be ineligible for benefit payments. The Labour leader was representing five migrants, and argued on the grounds that it contravened the right to food and shelter enshrined in the hated EU law, the European Convention on Human Rights. Meanwhile earlier today, Mr Anderson took to X to mock Sir Keir Starmer's dour communication style, writing, Do not listen to this man whilst driving or operating heavy machinery. As I was driving around Ashfield yesterday I caught a bit of his speech. After a minute my eyes became heavy, I felt drowsy and had to open the windows. Don't let this man send the country to sleep. Analysts have accused Sir Keir of failing to present any sort of vision for what the country would look like under his leadership. Commentators have maintained that the Labour leader is desperately trying to present his party as a credible party of government, following the Corbyn years. But in so doing, he is failing to present anything close to a policy agenda for office.